as a community, if you were put in a position where you were in need, that community would rally around and help support True. you. Very you much know? so. And, and it turns out in this situation, that's very much what has happened. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a, an incredible lineup for this event. Yeah. And we didn't have to ask anybody twice. Mm -hmm. There was mm -hmm. no, no follow up calls. Mm -hmm. It was just, this is what it's for. Yeah, I'm down. Mm -hmm. You know? So, first and foremost, we have to salute the drum and bass scene as a whole. Definitely. Their mind, they're so, so Everyone tight. Them. It's just, they're an example to how you build a scene and, mm -hmm. and cultivate yeah, your own real, audience. Real they're real an talk. example of that. <laughs> Podcast .com. Street Culture TV. Beatbox created. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. How are we looking, Rodney? Rodney's just gone to camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller podcast, live and direct, central London, or as central as you need to be, choose to be, want to be, don't want to be anywhere else, baby, pop, come on! Big shout out to the sharers and carers, people have been uh, struggling to share. Seems to be the order of the day, this conversation's already started before we uh -huh. pressed record, it's sharing, uh -huh. is caring, alright? Yeah, yeah. Tell a friend to tell a friend, not to mention the television app free, download iPhone, Android for street culture supporters. Um, inside the house we've got some legends, we've got some legends for a very important and special cause. We will indulge shortly, but allow me to introduce you some pioneers in the game. Uh, a good friend of the podcast, you know him very well, London Posse's very own Rodney P. Yes, but, recently we were Fame, Dub Pistols fame, the man, the myth, the legend, Shawnee T inside the place as well. Oh yeah, we're in for a right treat. <laughs> Explain yourselves, gentlemen, what we're we doing here and what's it for? Go ahead, brother. Well, I was, I was gonna let you kick it off, but you know what what we're here to do today, Kells, mm. is really talk about um the promotion of a special fundraiser event that we got for, you know what I mean, Jungle's own hip hop's very own Leke. AKA Mr. Junglis, AKA Junglis Movement T-shirt, we call him, mm -hmm. AKA Aerosol. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's been a rough year for him. It's been a rough minute for him to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And he's suffering from a rare disease, well, a, a disease as a blood cancer. Mm -hmm. And because of this, he's had to have his leg amputated. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a very serious thing. Yeah. Like, and, and, it's one of those situations where you like to think that as a community, if you were put in a position where you were in need, that community would rally around and help support True. you. Very much you so. Know? And, and it turns out in this situation, that's very much what has happened. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a, an incredible lineup for this event. Yeah. And we didn't have to ask anybody twice. Mm -hmm. There was mm -hmm. no, no follow up calls. Mm -hmm. It was just, this is what it's for. Yeah, I'm down. Mm -hmm. You know? So, First and foremost, we have to salute the drum and bass scene as a whole. Definitely. Their man, they're so, so Everyone tight. It's just, they're an example to how you build a scene and, mm -hmm. and cultivate yeah, your own real, audience. Real they're talk. an example of that. Mm -hmm. So first, we have to hold them up and, and, yeah. and say mm -hmm. appreciate appreciation for what they've done and how they've made it easy mm -hmm. for us to put this show together. Because obviously, me and Shawnee are not, I mean, I'm a jungle fan. I know Shawnee is too. Yeah. But we're not junglists in that <laughs> sense. Yeah, yeah, no, mm -hmm. we're not junglists in that sense. But they allowed us to approach Ox and get the event done. So, mm. yeah. It's, yeah. It's beautiful, man. And when I saw the lineup, uh, myself included, I jumped at the chance. As soon as yeah. Shawnee <laughs> called me, I was like, when yeah. and where? And where? Yeah. Is, yeah. Did, you did, definitely. He's nothing you know, but... Have you got it on your phone? Let's, let's yeah. do the roll yeah, call. Let's, let's do the roll call. Let's really roll call. Let's actually know Trust what me. they're going to be missing if they're not there. Here we go, brother. So we've got Brocky, Brian G, Shy FX, Ragga Twins, Billy Business, original London Posse DJ doing a hip hop set. We got MC Debt, Jumping Jack Frost, Barry Ashworth doing a Dub Pistols live set. Mm. You know my man Sean the T's there, so you know <laughs> Mike Control is set for that. Killer Keller is there, alongside Harry Shutter too, because you know the man them linked from a long time. Yeah. Done that already. Yeah. 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 We got Navigator is there, we got 
the Demolition Man is there. Crazy. DJ Ron, my bridge and DJ Ron, original, yep. my original DJ before yeah. he turned junglist. Okay. Yeah, Big up Mickey it. Finn, yeah. legend. Shabba, Shabba D, you know, from the SAS, SAS, mm -hmm. SAS. Salute them, man. Mm -hmm. Big up Fabio and Groove Rider, legends in the thing. I know Groove Rider from his name was Raymond from back in the day. <laughs> man, <I'm talking. laughs> Big up Tipper Irie, dance hall oh. legend. Them man are my generals. They don't know yeah, really. Man would rap how we rap if it weren't for man like Tipper yeah, Irie. Real, real. And Big up Indigo Rain, original lady MC coming through and representing to yeah. the fullest. So, the lineup is incredible, and there's yeah. more people that ain't in the, on that list. What yeah. we got? Any, uh, we got any, uh, yeah. couple special guests. Yeah, special yeah. Nothing you want to announce? No, we can't drop no, no, no names at the moment, yeah. but they're gonna be there. You're gonna we got see a couple special guests. It's gonna be a mad night. I just really, I want to shout out Demon Ruckers. Yes. From Ragga Twins because yes. he, he put in some work from you know what I mean to make stuff this happen yeah. as well. The links that he gave me. Yeah. A man like like especially Mickey Finn yeah. as well. He linked me with Mickey Finn and from my phone Mickey, Mickey Everything was just like into place. Let's get it. Bro, it's like easy. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's so much people. Yeah. There's not enough time. Yeah, yeah there's not yeah. enough time. That's so. a really, it's really. Them, and them and you know what? I want to apply the same sentiment to DJ Ron as well. Because uh, from I yeah. spoke to Ron, yeah. Ron said, "What do you need? Yeah, yeah. Let me, yeah. What do you need help with? Let me help yeah. you out. Definitely. You know? yes. So them on there, this after salute yeah. them all. Let's you know, know like yourself, Kels. You know what I mean? You know you was on your phone call away, so mm -hmm. yeah. you done explained already that yeah. you just jumped on it. Yeah. One time, which is you know, I mean, which is blessed, you know, yeah, what I mean? man. and like, and even doing this here, adding the value and Leke, man. Let's let's really get into this character. Mm -hmm. He's <laughs> Leke has been here forever, man. ever, bro. Oh, yeah. If you're on the hip hop scene or you're on the jungle scene, <laughs> yeah. you know Leke. North so we general. Might, we might be saying a name, and you're thinking, who's this Leke guy? Yeah. Trust me, if you see Leke, you know. Yeah. Yeah. If you've been on this thing, you yeah. know Leke. Yeah. He's yeah. developed and. Such a pedigree. He, he coined cultural currency to me, and it, and it, it helped more value than the money in my bank because it actually holds. He he, he is walking yeah. talking currency of a cultural kind. Yeah, this is why absolutely. everyone is a phone call. <coughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, for real. From the early name, they everybody jumped to it. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So you know, I mean, blessed love, Lekker. You know what I mean? When I when I saw this situation personally, I took from a personal point of view. When I saw, I saw a video of him, and I was like, Yeah, hold on, it's mm. like. Something, something's, something's up. Yeah. And then, it's when I listened to what was going on, when I, forward. yeah, when I was like, boy, you know what? Let's see what we can do. Yeah, yeah, and it's a, you know, you, you need to know it's a deeper and more complex situation. Yeah. But like a lot of it, his, his, his personal business. So we're not going to explain out the whole thing. Yeah. But it's been an extremely rough time for him. He's mm. been through a lot, and he's a family man. He's a man with Definitely. a wife and kids, and mm. we just want to show support for that. Definitely. Like I say. I'd like to think if I was in that situation or you were in that situation, definitely. You know, I could find that support from within the community that we we helped. Mm -hmm. And in a lot of ways that we helped to build. And I don't say that egotistically. I mm. say that you know, this mm. is this is part of our team. So yeah, man. If we don't get out for each other, if we don't support each other, what are we doing? You know what I mean? I can't know. Like I know Ronnie for years. I know yourself for years, Kels. You know what I mean? If we don't come together in mm. times like these, mm. when are we really gonna come together? Mm. This talk. is the real solidarity and the real unity. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I'm, amongst your bridging them that you that you grow with, like I say, different genres mm. are coming together across. Mm. We're crossing a different genre. But you know what I mean? It's music is music, and everybody we know is like, well, I'm, I'm talking to, to Mickey Finn. I only heard of Mickey Finn, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm there, so yeah. I'm a little bit like, well, I, the great Mickey yeah, Finn. The great Mickey Finn. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, I look, I look how much love he shows. Yeah, oh, immediately. Like, Tipper I read for me, I was just like, oh my. Yeah, tip, tip on. Tip on. From, from when I was in school, Tipper was my big G. Like, <laughs> oh, no Monday's going to be so weird. Who's much a fan for this? Is, is <laughs> yeah, 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 I can't for wait. Real. I personally can't real. wait. No, but real. people have to bear in mind, though, they have to bear in mind it's a fundraiser. Yeah. It's a middle of the week event. It's not on the weekend. It's mm -hmm. a fundraiser. It's from 7 to 11. It's not till the middle of the night. People have a work and thing and school run to do. Mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. Schools are on holiday. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'll get a break. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but you know, it's that kind of mm -hmm. thing. It's a fundraiser. We're going to have an incredible, bubbling, full of vibes party. Yeah. But remember that the, the, the aim that we have is to make, raise as much as we can for Leke. Yeah. So there'll be merchandise. There'll be charity buckets. There'll yeah. be raffles. That's mm -hmm. right. We have some incredible prizes for but, these raffles. Let me yeah. just tell you, one of the one, just one bro. of the of the giveaways, well, oh. one of the raffle prizes, oh, is two tickets to Mucky Weekender. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And on that Mucky Weekender is the maddest lineup. We got the man Mad. called Barry Ashworth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, big big it's a big mad up, lineup. Big up, big up, this man's like Goldie's there. Mm -hmm. just, just, let me just drop that in there. Right? It's, it's, just it's, off the bat. There's, there's yeah. some mad names. Mad. That's the, the, lineup, the lineup is incredible. And the thing with Mucky Weekend, yeah. it's only been going a few years, but every weekend, is, every year yeah. is bigger 
and better. Really which this year way. is yeah. set to be incredible. Yeah, incredible. Yeah. So, so this the, them, them tickets are like three hundred pound each. Mm. So that's six hundred pound right there. Yeah. And we're selling raffle books for like five to ten pound. That's a worthwhile investment in my opinion. <laughs> how are we how are we gonna get Leke to not move a muscle? <laughs> like, it, this is gonna be so hard. He's just gonna yeah. be no, you don't move, you don't touch, enjoy, just enjoy, yeah. no work, enjoy. Yeah, you know he's a hustler, he's a <laughs> yeah, grafter. Yeah, no, he ain't gonna have it. He ain't gonna have it. He's gonna be on the yeah. phone and he's like, What can I do? What, yeah. what about this? What about yeah. 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 don't watch that man? Leave Nothing's it like you know, Leave <laughs> it. Yeah, man. Going back to uh, the oh before um before we uh, divert what What's the address? Where is where is it? Oh, have you got that there? Yes, the the venue is the Forge mm. in Camden. The three new, to new venue. Hold on, three to seven, Delancey Street, Camden, NW one seven and L. Mm -hmm. It's the Forge. Don't forget, it's just I tell you, it's about two minutes walk from Camden train station. It's mm. that close at the back of Jazz Cafe. Oh, nice. Say. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah. Easy. Yeah. yeah. Easy. A lot of hip hop yeah. going on at a ca jazz cafe at the moment, so you're going to know where it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. So drum, that's, the, that's the venue. You know what I mean? And I think yeah. it's sold out. Well, what it actually is is that ticket wise, the, in so terms good. of the tickets that we made yeah. available, they yes. sold out. They're yeah. all gone. So you got and walk up, and we were yeah, we've got some walk up tickets okay. on the door, but we did try and make it as clear as possible. Mm. Buy your tickets early. What we purposely did was keep it as cheap as possible. It's only ten pound a ticket. Yeah, yeah. When you think about that lineup. It's ten pound a ticket. Yeah. You ain't never gonna see that. No You're way. You're never gonna see this lineup. Bro. <laughs> but I'm <laughs> gonna, but, let, but let me make it clear. If you miss the opportunity which you now have, if you don't have a ticket yeah. yet, it's gonna cost you a lot more on the door. Yeah, for real. It's gonna cost you a lot more on the door. Well, think about that level of attendance in artistry. Shy effects alone. I mean, you know. Yeah. We're talking yeah, about. He could charge a fifty pound yeah. ticket by himself. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fabio and Groove Rider in the Royal Albert Hall. That's that's a seventy-five pound ticket. What Rocky and MC that? That's Jungle Royalty. Yeah, there's another forty-five pound. Man, the tapes. I remember Rocky and that alone. Like, I would pay the money. Yeah. And then Brian G and Jumping Jack Frost re-recordings. Oh my days! I remember Booger from Brixton. Them. Why not big up my dog for it? Yeah, so yourself yeah, is definitely in the like, building today. Yeah, yeah, right, definitely yeah. got to, and you did mention about the, uh, the, the the coming together of it all. And um, yeah, testament to, to, to drum and bass. Yeah. Um, yeah. There are the fault lines. And we spoke about this at the Kingdom yeah, podcast. Yeah. That, that actually there is a DNA connectivity to UK hip hop way back from yeah. DJ Ron. And yeah, like yeah. you were saying. Not only for them when they come out of the hip hop scene still. But I think that what they've managed to build with the drum and bass scene is incredible and beautiful and, yeah. and strictly UK. Mm. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't have been bred from nowhere else. Yeah. And, and I mean, I could divert them from drum and bass into the grime thing, or I think grime is the purest film with UK hip hop. True, but true. that's a whole different conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right you know what I mean? But there's <laughs> definitely a, a thread that runs through all of yeah. that stuff. Mm. And it begins not solely, not singularly, but it's the generation of Tipper Ari and Dermanda and Navigator yeah, and yeah. Ragga Twins oh, before right. they were the Ragga Twins That's when right. they was chatting on Unity Sounds. Boomer, right. they, and they big up Boomer. Like, I know Boomer's coming big here as well. I know Boomer yeah. would yeah. take yeah. like that. Yeah, man. Big, big up, up Sweet Sweetie, yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, yeah, them man there yeah. were artists before... Before man was doing hip hop, before jungle even existed, mm -hmm. them man were the artists that we looked to. Daddy Freddy really turned. Daddy Freddy, oh, yeah. Smiley Broad Culture, yeah. Asa mm -hmm. Senator, Popa Peter Levi. King, mm -hmm. Papa Levi. Yeah, yeah they, these are the artists that we really looked up to. Definitely. And if it wasn't for their style of MC, and I know I wouldn't own the style of MC and I have now, may I come around later, mm -hmm. but actually, them man, it was the inspiration Definitely. and the foundation. Definitely. Def especially for me, Saxon. You know, I, mean? I was a Saxon soldier. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I got licks because I used to go <laughs> sneak you out to go climb see out the window to go see Saxon. <laughs> you know what I mean? And come back. You're not supposed to come yeah. back at that time. You know what I mean? The only place I shouldn't be. Mm. Just to follow the culture of Saxon because the movement mm. of the MCs, it, yeah. was, it, was, it was captivating. Yeah. You, had to, you had to be Saxon there to MCs see Saxon MCs was legendary, man. So, yeah, what? so this is this is like me and, and Shawnee saying, if you don't know, get to know. Go just, do some just, research. Just. The Saxon MCs, they've got albums that they release of live sessions. Yeah. They've done art. They've done you know collaboration art, artist albums with Jamaican artists. Mm, yeah. But they come from a generation. So Saxon was 
maybe one of the most well-known, but actually in the UK at that time, that was what mm. was going on, yeah. where Navigator was, mm. where D yeah. Morocco yeah, was, man. where Unity. these people come from, mm -hmm. you know, Buchanan sound with Smiley Ooh. Culture and Asha Senator, mm -hmm. and local sounds, Tubby. Hustler and, and Young Destroyer, Tubby. Young Lion. Rarely talked about yeah, local man. sounds as well. Local sounds, it was yeah, the training man. ground for everywhere most of us, sounds. man. Everywhere, everywhere had yeah. their sounds. Big up Ricky Rankin, same way. Of course. Big up the Rickster. Mm. Oh, used to roll Roots Banoofa, you know what I mean? So, I just look at a new thing with Ricky still in the Yo, I just look at a new thing with Ricky still. Yeah, that's what's is Ricky, is he any good? Is he good? Ricky's... Yo, I mean, you know, the sound system era was of a working class time where opportunities were scarce. And I think with drum and bass and jungle, they chose not to chase the fast car. They wanted to retain a level of ownership. Yeah. And now they're in the fast car. And now they're in the fast car. Because <laughs> yeah. their ownership yeah. has come it's 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 tripled in value yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like a you know it's a fine I think model. right now you know like people don't talk about it so much but right now I think drum and bass is probably one of the most successful global brands of music out of the UK mm. and let's talk about drill and UK rap and those things are all really succeeding and doing great bits and doing these big shows mm. but globally yeah. drum and bass is the team, testament like, to that is Ragga Twins just came off a tour in America yeah, the man had just landed. That was some off the whole thing. Two yeah. days ago, yeah. Yeah. it just landed back. I saw them on the plane. Yeah. I didn't realise they were going to yeah. America. Yeah. Man, like, drum and bass like, is huge. Yeah, man. Yeah. huge. Skrillex really but, propelled it. I mean, like flow down at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but, but, crazy. You know, foreign beggars and of course crazy. Ragga Twins. Yeah. They were all over crazy. the crazy. Like drum and bass is huge. Yeah, man. And it's fun. That's the thing. It's born out of reggae to me. It's just born out of reggae and like a fusion. Of course, for me. That thing's called, and I keep saying drum and bass, the thing's called jungle. It's called jungle. Mm. <laughs> Get its yeah. name. It's not drums. <laughs> <laughs> called drums, yeah. jungle. And this, this in, in, intelligent drum and bass. Take your yeah. blood clot out. Yeah, yeah, go. <laughs> <It's> jungle. <laughs> oh, fucking things intelligent, yeah? <laughs> you see it's what like, I'm saying? It's like opening a manual. What, what, what everything else was stupid compared to yeah. <laughs> Don't let man start cutting. We'll talk. <laughs> we'll talk. I get lost if, when I hear a Goldie mix, I just... And uh, Doc Scott as well. See, These guys. See, you know. You're drawing about some names from the past. Mm, yeah, that Doc yeah. Scott. You know. Doc Scott. Yeah. Whatever happened to... It's all right. Forgive me, you know what? MJ Cole? I'm too. Cole, you know, I haven't spoken about I know he's active he's still. He's moving, yeah. I think yeah, he's yeah, active. Yeah. I'm with you. I don't... I, I, I haven't seen and his name circulating. That's more of the, the garage and the, and the two-step thing. Yeah. But as a, as a producer, mm. he's so talented. Okay. Okay. I've, worked, I've worked with MJ a few times. Because he's done, done a remix for Roots Maneuver one time. So mm. You know what I mean? A drum and bass remix. Mm. That I, that, that that's what I'm saying. Really, as a producer, you know he can do mean? anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just got, wondering what happened like to him that. still. But if you're saying that name, you've got to say Wookiee. Of course. Oh my but them are active you know. Don't yeah. get it twisted. Them are active and yeah. doing big bits. Yeah. yeah. Don't get it twisted. Well there's yeah. a thing, when you hit a certain, you know, uh platform yeah. of notoriety, I mean there's there's differs, but but yeah. generally speaking, you find your way and and you can lend your hand to anything, yeah, frankly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And them are. Mm. Yeah. I don't That's I don't doubt really. that for a second. I know Wookie's active, definitely. Yeah. Got some look out for him. He's gonna be active real soon. Leke and the junglist movement, the aerosol clothing, mm -hmm. that vision that he had for a brand, I feel it harks back to a, 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 um, a time of street fashion in the States. Closest name, Carl Can I? Yeah, I Carl Can I, uh, Food Blue, like, yeah. you know, Food Cross Blue. Colors, yeah. Yeah, those, all those independent, you know, supposedly urban clothing companies. Yeah. And he definitely fits that more. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. And he, sure. he, he. And with that it... in mind, before we go further, yeah. speaking about the event, with that in mind, if you don't yet own a junglist movement t shirt mm. or a hip hop movement t shirt, make sure you bring your money with you on the day. Come on, it baby. will be available. Get my repping, yeah. repping, repping. They will be available, yeah. so make sure you come with your wallet. Yeah? He, he, <laughs> had, he had a way, he has a way of. I say he had because there was nothing else going on like that where all of a sudden UK fashion, jungle fashion had this, had this look and aesthetic mm. that then transferred into TV. Yeah, I remember, what was the Movies. film? There was a film. Human Traffic. Or Human Traffic. Like that, yeah. Yeah. And there's the scene yeah. in the record shop where the guy behind the record store yeah. has got on the Junglist Movement T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. And that yeah. image spread around the world. That became a T-shirt everybody yeah. wanted because yeah. Jungle's on the rise yeah, and man. people want to be part of the movement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You know? So, 
Yeah, that that is definitely an iconic T-shirt. Yeah, man, I got mine, definitely. man. I got mine. Lucky sent me years ago, yeah. and I actually used mine as a promo. So um, yeah. took a little photo shoot in it. You know, yeah, yeah, as yeah, a promo. That's, that's what we did from back then. Yeah, yeah. man. So, I got my hip hop movement and my junglist movement. Yeah. I'll be rocking my hip hop movement on the day, <laughs> just so all the younger man know some. Yeah, hip hop kids. <laughs> this is uh, this is this is more currency. You see, like Lecce has a way of just uh, he's, he's man, he's, making he's, out. He's man's bridging. Yeah, yeah. yeah and when your bridging's in need. To represent them, and it's nothing more than simply that. Mm, you know, yeah. it's not. And we do this. Mm. This is what we do. We do this music thing. We do this little promotion thing. Mm. Our my phone book is them man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. what? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna phone my man who are legends with him too, and we're gonna come together and make some P and game and yeah. make him live a little easier. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's the sole I mean, motivation. Exactly. You know? I mean, he's done so much for everybody else. Mm. Yeah. You understand? And he, yeah. it just he, he's created a movement that's global mm. that puts all eyes on us. Mm-hmm. So. You know what I mean? He deserves everything that, that, that he's going to get Absolutely. right now. Because just a, in, uh, in reality, he's just a good person still. Yeah. Yeah. That's the reality of it. Real talk. You know what I mean? Mm. So it's not complicated. The amount of times you can, you can testify to this with Roots Maneuver, being on road with Dub Pistols, mm. hosting and curating events that you do, which is part of the reason why this, is, mm-hmm. this event is held as one for the calendar this year. Um, I think Leke walks in from the side. And he's got some bag of goods. And he's like, oh, what are you saying? You're rocking this tonight? Yeah. You're rocking this tonight? Yeah. Like, oh, on this yeah. T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Walking billboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. You must have yeah. loads of stories of such yeah. things, bro. bro yeah. I've, still, I've still got my junglist movement T-shirt that I'm going to just dig out. You know what I mean? For the day. Mine's yeah, authentic. We're going to rip that. First cut. For sure. For sure. Cut. Origi- original mm. outline. Yeah, man. Yeah. But Leke's always been that guy. He's been, uh, you know... It's the same way we were saying that, you know, you see people on the roads that are still selling their CDs and you see that and you want to support them because you mm-hmm. know they're working hard to do that. Mm. Th- the same applies to Leke, but it was 25 years ago. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know, he was mm. on his grind, he was on his hustle yeah. and we make that connection and it's grown from there. He's the man I consider my friend. Sure. So, yeah. I think some. Pe- I think a lot of people get misconstrued either. the idea that um, uh, you're on the back foot being uh, on the ground and selling, grafting. I mean, you're hitting the curve, bro. That's it, what I'm saying. Like, you're hitting you, the curve, bro. Like, never mind what the US had been doing or are doing. It's That's not how no, we do it. You know what it is. You know what it is. It's not even how we do it. I think it's how it's done. It's how it's supposed you, to be you, done. You build from the ground up. Mm. Yeah. You know? When you think of, like... You th- I think of a lot of the successful executives in UK black music now. And a lot of them started from working in street teams. Mm. Like... You know, mm-hmm. they were on street team, mm-hmm. like out on the road, actively working out. How does this, 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 you know, this street level promotion work? And then how can we apply that to bigger projects and bigger projects mm-hmm. and bigger projects? And now they're the exec, mm-hmm. but they started at the bottom because they've now, now yeah, they're ahead of the real. curve because they know what it looks like mm-hmm. and they know what their audience is looking for. Like. So for me, I think like it's important. You, you, you can start in the middle, you know, maybe you've got a trust fund and you started in the middle, but if you're really passionate, that's cool for you. Mm-hmm. But most men start at the bottom and build and, yeah. you know, the, the, the best of those rise to the top. It's the only way to do it. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. It's been good for you, Sean. I mean, we haven't had you on the podcast before. This is a treat. <laughs> tell us a little bit, tell us a little bit about the backstory of the mighty Sean T. And and a predate Roots Maneuver, because people might know you from okay. Roots Maneuver, but you know your history predates yeah, that. Yeah, oh, you know what, bro? Yes, like please. when I kicked off, I kicked off doing. Um, I was actually in a, in a Black History play. I toured America called Black Heroes in the Hall of Fame. I remember it well. That was my first. I didn't I see so you, you saying that. I never knew that, you know. But yeah. I remember that play. Yeah, well. man. Well. So big up wow. Flip Fraser. You know what I mean? See, Black Heroes. You was in now. that. Yeah, yeah man. Okay. I toured America three months with that. See, I crazy. probably saw you because yeah. I'm just saw that more than one. <laughs> Serious? <laughs> no, I, I tell you the truth, right? I done the American part. Oh, I okay. The audition and I got the American part. See? You know what I mean? So I toured America. Right. Like and because I was always in and out of America at the time, rolling people like. Like Trevor Sparks and Sluggy see, Ranky see. and Frankie Paul, me see the man, a big up man called Witty, yeah. you know what I mean? Peter Ginger McKenzie put out that first tune, Jamaica Nice, Jamaica Nice, <laughs> on the sick rhythm. See. That kind of man, that little, that was a long time, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's the rolling circle. So when, when I done the Black Heroes, it was beautiful going to America, linking with friends. And I came back, started a crew called um, New Testament. That's what I remember. <laughs> New yeah. That's what I know. You yeah, from. we got New Cappy. Testament. Yeah. Big up Bree, big up Slides, big up Sweet Takai, that's the original members of the group mm-hmm. at that time there. That's where we kind of first buck up, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what genre was that? 
hip hop. That's hip hop. Yeah, man. We got a match in called Balimbo. Bimbo. Balimbo. Badow. It was just weird vibes. We was just like, at them time, when them times, everybody was militant. We came in smoking, drinking on stage. That's how we were just. We never care, we just had a little party vibe yeah. about us, you know yeah. what I mean? Like almost like a leader's a new school kind of feel, you could nice. say, if you wanted to compare it. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And then I just started doing my own thing really and just rolling with the roots and the twangs and you knowing rods, you know what I mean? Because I put together Dark Horizon. Yeah. Part one. And that was me trying to unite mm -hmm. the scene. So bringing everybody together, no matter where you come from, crispy from up north. Nice. The great Rodney P. Yeah. You understand Black Terror Roots Maneuver, Estelle Ski, Pesky, mm. New You called Jeffrey at the time. I was just trying to bring us all together. That was just my thing. So my thing's always been the unification <laughs> of us as a people. Even you, Kels. Look, man, we was work, supposed to work on that. Um, we was doing that robot program. That robot, do you remember, for public demand? Yes, I do remember that. And I remember yeah. public demand yeah. as well. Yeah, we do. Why don't big up my man Jimmy, though? Right yeah. back now. Like. I have to big up Jimmy, though. Yeah. I have to big up Jimmy. We can't, we, if, we, if we're mentioning public demand, I have to big up yeah, Jimmy. You mentioned just, MJ Cole earlier. You were through, right. through Jimmy them, so I think, MJ. big up Jimmy Guns. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you know what I mean? Now that Andy. follows me back. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's <laughs> kind of one of the... That, that brought us together yeah, in a certain wow. way because I was one of the robots, you was one of the robots. Yeah, you you were right. doing all the, the music. That's right. And I was supposed to chat on that. And I don't know what it came of it, but yeah. that was one of the connections. You I'd know say I mean? search you online, but maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was mad because I, when I listened to the musical, like what you put together, that was incredible. It was of a, a, of a time. I mean, you know, trying to explain to some people, you know, the. the, the uh, the, the 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 lesser scene of it, beatboxing that it was at mm. the time. It's like you know, it's just mm. Beatles mania for me. I was just running around <laughs> binging and purging every country. Right? <laughs> no one else was doing it. But yeah, I remember that distinctively. And and you, you trying new stuff. Yeah, you've yeah. always been in, innovating as well. You've yeah. always been progressing and moving things for, forward. For, for me, brother, it's about unity and nothing else. You know what I mean? The more we are together, we are one. You know what I mean? Mm. It's, it, for me, Rodney Rodney don't even know, but it's an honour for me to work with this man because mm. mm. this man is royalty. You yeah, understand? Yeah. He got royalty and. So, my, I was a reggae man, always. But my key bridging, rest in peace, Gary Irons, you know what I mean? He introduced mm. me to Ty. He's the, Ty's the, he's the person I know in hip-hop the longest. Mm. R.I.P. Ty. R.I.P. Ty. You, you see what I'm saying? Mm. But he, like, they was real hip-hop. Demon Boys, London mm. Posse, Hijack. That was my bridging. But mm. them time, I'm listening to Saxon, Uni, Coxon, mm. mm. Kilimanjaro, you know what I mean? Of course. Stereograph. Mm. Of but that's my key bridging. So when I'm around his ass and we're playing centipede and, mm. and space invaders and, and all, and all <laughs> them thing there, we're listening to hip hop, we're listening to dance at the same yeah, time. Standardly. Still do the same thing now. All yeah, oh, right, so then you get but to know. But we're some Neo at the same time. Yeah, yeah same way. <laughs> then I get yeah, to see, meet. that's a bit of me, that is. You know what I mean? I feel uh, like a grown man when I listen to that <laughs> stuff, right? <laughs> Beautiful. So then you get to meet the Rodneys, you know what I mean, of this world, you know what I mean? Place for flavor of the month. Mm. You know what I mean? We Just off of, off of yeah, the back of the story, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's where we kind of, that was a real potent time for us, I feel. Yeah, because absolutely. That's where I met a lot of people. A really creative time. As yeah, well. MCD and mm -hmm. there was so many. You know what I mean? That was, that was to me, that was greatness. And you got to realise, Rodney's my bridging. Black Twang's my bridging. Rootsman is my bridging. But I'm still a fan of them, man. Mm -hmm. So even though I can pick up, our kids play together. You know what I mean? At festivals and shit like that before. You understand? Mm -hmm. But still, man's your bridging. But you're still a fan of them, man. Mm. Yourself, Kels. You know what I mean? I love what you do. So, Likewise. you know what I mean? I love the music. I love, I love, I love your art. So, I'm a fan as well as a friend. I've always, lucky been, always been a fan first, bro. Yeah. That's why we stay, they get to stay here so yeah. long. Yeah. Enough man come and go because they, leave, they get their heart broke or they lose the energy. Mm. Actually, I'm a fan first. Yeah. So, man. even if I stop doing it, all of it as an artist or in any shape or form, I go and drive a bus for a living. Mm. I'm going to go home and listen to the music because mm -hmm. I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's where it being. It'd be quite hard beginning. though, wouldn't it? You know, not wanting to quickly jump in the booth and do something. Cause <laughs> I, I, no, no, don't know. get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> that, there's, there's no uh, uh, retirement date. You know what I mean? That's out <laughs> the window. You. When yeah. I was young, I had a retirement date. Ah, I'm not going to be doing this forever. Actually, mm. why not? Yeah, yeah. But, but it calls you, right? Yeah. The music calls yeah. you. 
You yeah. know what I mean? I've been for a serious situation in life. I'm not really, really discussing okay. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm a private thing. And I said, I'm giving up. Yeah. I'm not doing music. I have to go and work. I have to work yeah. now. Yeah, 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 you understand? Yeah, yeah. We've all been there, bro. And as soon yeah. as I went and started to work, it's the most phone calls I got to do music. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like buses, right? All of a sudden, yeah. like, right? Yeah. And you know what? You, when you're creative, you can't put your creativity in a mm. box without it hurting you. Mm. Yeah, you know what I mean? It hurts you. It takes will... away. It diminishes. Mm. So, you know, even if you're not doing it on a professional level or as a career thing, mm. you still have to find ways to express that creativity mm. so. actually and just on a similar t- sticking on the subject I went and saw Leke um, last week perhaps yeah. okay um, I, I have to say it's Leke 2.0 he's mm. like he's, he's just like he's just got wheels now he's yeah, faster yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> And uh, yeah, he's put like, a little, you know, little like, nacho button yeah, on that yeah, thing, and he's like, oh, nice. <laughs> fast and the furious. Yeah, like, yeah. so he's, getting, he's getting that built in. I'm no doubt about it. Um, and uh, he's, you know, come hell or high water, he's working like a true. Yeah. Like, I didn't notice that any sort of change in, uh, you know, fierceness mm. online of how much he's working. You can mm. sense it. He's mm. got like, maybe there's a, a stronger um, energy to it. More there's. Yeah. Greater intention, yeah, but yeah. dude is not stopped. Mm. But he's never stopped, That's no. been, and that has been his, yeah. his, his his character and personality from I've known him. Mm. He's a grafter. Yeah, man. He's a grafter, and the fact that he can be going through what he's going through, and maintain that 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 positive outlook and energy for pushing forward, we should all be able to take some inspiration yeah. from that. Definitely. Because you know what, I'm going through all kind of problems in life. I'll be real with you, but. I'm. I can't imagine having to deal what he's deal, mm. having to deal with what he's dealing true, with, true. and still being able to maintain that positive outlook. Mm. Yeah. You know. So nothing but ratings and blessings. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yeah, man. The same way. Yeah. If, I, if I, you put, you have to imagine yourself in a man's situation and mm. be thankful for what you got. Yeah. It's something that I do in my life. Mm. You know. What I mean, I look at. I look around the world and I realize how how much I've got, even though I might not have as much as the next man. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? But. Compared to another man, mm. I've, got I've got riches. Yeah. So yeah. you got to be grateful for what you have, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you got the little that you got, you you have to kind of share it amongst the people. Yeah, yeah. Because we're all in it together, you know what I mean? At the end of the day. Yeah. yeah. Which goes back to the WhatsApp group that you created. Um, <laughs> yeah. And and the, the, the drawing in of people yeah. and resources mm. and... You know, even if it's just a posting up, telling people what's going on, yeah, yeah. you know, amplifying. I mean, intention. I hope, I hope, like, I mean, a lot of the people within the group will see this, 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 this broadcast, and I hope they, they, they use the, the, the group in the way it was intended, which was really to be a unifying tool mm. that people can use to, to find what they need in any given situation. Mm. As, I, as I said to you when we did our interview, it's not just rappers. Mm. It's, it's rappers, DJs, producers, graphic directors, designers, lawyers, yeah. directors. Yeah, man. It's all kind of people within that group. So it's 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 ways to collaborate. Mm. You know, way to ways to bring people together. So who who don't necessarily know each other. It's my phone book. <laughs> you people have never met. But I'm saying he's True. cool, she's cool, he's cool. True. You may you you may not even share the same idea or yeah. opinion. But you're able to have that conversation as adults because I've put everyone in there that's grown. Yeah. Same, I'm done argument. Fair like, enough, fair enough. You know, so that's oh, a gift you hand out your phone book like that, and everybody's true. staying on green. <laughs> it's true because yeah. people wouldn't do that, you know. But yeah. Not people wouldn't do that. No, no, respect. No, yeah. Yeah. Real, that's that's real context. That's like, real context to their Yeah, it that's is what it is. Part, it's not just like it, I feel like. A lot of things don't have no value to you, share them. Mm. Like you can you can <laughs> cling on to something as t- hard as you like and say this is the most valuable thing I mm. own, mm. but actually you don't have no value because no. you just got it. Yeah. And when you showed it to a man and he gave it value, now it's becoming mm. valuable. And when ten men saw it, now it's becoming valuable. Yeah. But mm. if you just sit in your room and hold it to yourself and look at it, oh, this is so valuable. It ain't worth nothing. Mm-hmm. So it has no value. Mm. Sharing, sharing is caring. Yeah, it's, sharing it's corny, is but it's true. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> no, it's not corny, man. You don't see it that way, brother. Yeah. It's, 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 you know, it's a great philosophy of life, yeah. and that's what it really is. If you're not doing things like that, then you ain't doing nothing. And that's what we're you know here for. Man? We're here for the exclusive showcasing that uh, we're, we're announcing to all you lot out there that this Wednesday, second. Wednesday, the second of August, now. Yeah. We're hitting Camden in a big way. In the, the Forge. Forge. Yeah, the Lancy Street. Mm-hmm. And a whole heap of people are going to be there. Mm-hmm. With a whole heap of eyes. Drum and bass jungle royalty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. That's not over exaggerating. That's a 
Facts. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. With some reggae royalty in there. I'm I don't know how I'm going to stop the music to beatbox. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You're gonna, Excuse man. me, guys. Can we just... <laughs> <laughs> I know you got your thing set up. Yeah. Draw for Harry yeah. Shutter and you and yeah, do your yeah, thing. Yeah, and then it's on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we've been talking. We've got rehearsals the, the day before, so See? we're definitely going to get into some special stuff. I know, bro. Stuff. You're not fooling me with nothing. I know that guy, really. <laughs> <laughs> we've got to pull out the stops on this one because, you know, when you've got the Dons in the building, yeah. and it ain't just going to be on stage, neither. Yeah. It's going to be off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah, just... Yeah. A, I mean, part of what we're looking to do, it's like I say, it's a fundraiser, and it's not just about everyone's backstage mm. drinking the free liquor. This is a community vibe. Mm, yeah, everyone's man. everyone's intermingling and and sh- and sharing love and sharing vibes and sharing appreciation, sharing appreciation for the culture that they built. Mm-hmm. I won't say that we built. I yeah, have to man. give all due respect yeah, to them, man. Mm-hmm. That's that's their thing, and they've done a beautiful job. Mm-hmm. Like I said in the beginning, we should take some lessons from them, man. Real talk. They are doing amazing work. Yeah. and really cultivated their own yeah, audience globally. Facts. So on that note, all that's left to do is for you to get online or get in touch, make it happen. We'll get mm-hmm. all the details on the description so you can go mm-hmm. and get your piece. Uh, the tickets are available, but it's sparse. You might even have to walk up. We've been told it's we've been told it's sold out, but that's their business. You just got to get involved, <laughs> all right? We've got merchandise, giveaways, raffles, everything, plus the artists on stage and off. It's going to be one hell of an evening. Second, Wednesday, Camden. You know what it is? Anything you'd like to add, gentlemen? Do you know what, people? Listen, people, right? Those who can't make it, because you know what? Those people all over this, over this world watching this podcast. You understand? Mm-hmm. This is a worldwide it thing. It is, yeah. You understand? You've got people. So if you can't make it, right, mm-hmm. then you can donate still. Ah, right? brilliant. Wicked. So we've got we can Help for well. Lekki Junglist Movement Foundation, right? And he's got a GoFundMe.com. Mm-hmm. And you've got to check his Help for Lekki Junglist Movement Founder, CEO. All right, and then you can donate if you can't make it. Donate, all right? Mm-hmm. T- donate, don't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Remember, <laughs> what, like we said, the, the, the pre sale tickets have all gone, yeah. but there will be tickets available on the mm. door. But okay. bring your wallet. Bring come and knock it in. Mm. Yeah. And you can't get to where because we have iPay to Apple Pay to. Yeah, yeah. You can card. bring your credit card. So it's a cashless society, so bring yeah, your credit card. can't too. escape. So, how do you like that? It's not happening. Um, but you know what? Can I just add one yeah, thing please, yeah. on, on, on a side note? Um, we spoke about Thai earlier, mm-hmm. and I'd just like to just promote this another event. This is the Connoisseurs of Hip Hop. They present nice. the Parch the Torch event, which was Thai's event. Yes, yes something yes, he had yes, started. Yeah. So, um, on Thursday, the 17th of August, upstairs at the Ritzy, that's the Ritzy Cinema in Brixton, it's going to be their Pass the Torch event. Okay. They have Speech to Bell, the Speech to Bell, they have Escar, they have um, New Guards, Umpo, Breeze, and a special guest. DJs will be DJ279, Chris Bounce, and DJ Nikki Styles, and hosted by Archer from the Freshers Crew. So... With nice. the same spirit of giving, remember, pass the torch, 17th of August in the Brixton Ritz. Nice, 17th of August, all right? Mm. So you've got mad dates in your, in your diary right there. Can I drop one? Do it. All I'm going to say to you is I've got a sound system, a reggae sound system called Styling Media as well. See? Do you understand? I've got beer dub. And look for me in Coventry on the 14th, 14th of October. Big up man called Don Sinclair. If you need to know more, go to Don Sinclair Reggae Vibes mm-hmm. on the YouTube channel. Look out for the posters and the flyers. You understand? Look out for name styling me. That's my cell. I've only got that place for murder people. Oh, stop yeah. it. Are so you going to play London anytime soon? Not soon. Oh, my God. But oh, when oh, I do, oh, I'll let I you know. I want to make it clear now <laughs> so people ain't confused now because... Us man are elder man and you don't always see us out in the limelight and standing mm. in front of people and keeping up mm. where we used to keep up. But man work harder now than we work then. Mm. But we can't. Man just take a different position in the thing and keep it moving. The grind and the hustle don't stop. So bear that in mind. We got my better Shawnee team. We got my better Killer Killer. Every time. time. You know, no, bad man. man's moving silence. Mm. It's <laughs> real talk. It's said by the Biggie Smalls. Um, uh, and Mucky Weekend before. Well, what's oh, the date on that? We've just got to, we've 8th got to... and 9th of September. Yeah. Remember, remember the 8th and 9th of September. It's a Mucky Weekend. This year it's a space theme. Oh, Mr. no. Ashworth. Here we go again. I'm yeah. off my face of a Mucky Weekend. Yeah, Woo! but remember, people, this is important. This, is, this part is really important. <laughs> you see, Mucky Weekend, it's only for the brave. 
Mm. 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 <laughs> and then take a photo in the same place after. So, really like to see, that's a real good exemplary way of showing what the, car, the festival's all about, right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the gentleman in play, uh, Rodney P, Shawnee T, thank you so much. Absolutely, thank brother. you so much. Killer. Uh, absolutely, you, brother. Thank you for like, allowing this time for us to do this. He's my heroes. Yeah. Come on. Uh, and Leke. Yeah, man. It's his time. Yeah. Time to it's get out. Man. Junglist movement, hip hop movement, that's our guy, aerosol mm. clothing. Mm. And if you ain't coming, for whatever reason, you can't do any of those things, go buy yourself a hoodie, a tracksuit, a t shirt. Or a just donate. Just get in. Mm. For real. Get in, my guy. Uh, we're out like in was out of fashion. Sharing is caring, tell a friend to tell a friend, all right? Crime don't pay, but neither do they. Don't talk to anyone, I wouldn't. <laughs> Stay lucky, people. Peace. Respect. <laughs>